97.1 FM. And welcome back to Station Insurance and ZDK Morning Cup. It's Monday the 8th of June. It's time for a happy start to the day. And we're talking to the Wadadli Challenge 2020 prize winners. Well, two of them anyway. And of course, don't forget Joanna Hillhouse set up Wadadli Penn. And she's written quite a number of books. She's written The Boy from Willow Bend, Musical Youth, Dancing in the Nude. Oh, Gad, a novel. I love the title of that one. Lost, a Caribbean story and lots of others as well. And she's not on her own. Well, she set up Wadadley Penn herself. But of course, she also has a number of patrons who are involved with both Wadadley Penn and, of course, the competition. So Digizel Isaac, who I had on air last week, is one of the co-founders and one of the patrons of it. Lawrence Jardine of the technical director of the Antigua and Barbuda Youth Enlightenment Academy and... Um, Bath, uh, I'm sorry, J Judith Webson, a businesswoman and writer who wrote Milo's First Winter, or a number of people who were patrons to the competition. And my next guest is the winner of the next category, Dakaya Emmanuel, wrote a poem instead of a story, but it's absolutely beautiful. Good morning, Dakaya. Hello, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you. you um, you're 15 years old at Antigua Girls High School, and many congratulations for that. Thank you, thank you. What, what, um, what prompted you to write the poem? Um, I really like history and going into, um, you know, people that came before us. Yeah. And during one of my classes in second form, our teacher was talking about um, the Amma Indians and so on. And she was asking, she was saying, think, think how they would react, how they reacted when the Europeans came and just stole their land, how they reacted when they saw people with different skin, different, different hair type, different materials and so on. And then it just inspired me because I remembered about it and it just inspired me to write this, this poem. Well, it's a beautiful poem. And what made you enter it in the Wadadley Pen Challenge? Well, the thing is, um, at first, I wanted to write a story about, you know, um, folklore. Yeah. But then, that was always done, and I wanted to be different. And then, for like a week, I was stuck on what I was going to write. And I didn't really know what I was going to write, and I just remember about that. And I said, yes, I want to discuss about our history before we came, and so on. So yeah, that really got me inspired to write the story. It is a very beautiful poem, and you're quite right. It is different. You want to do something different. You well succeeded. And you're going to read it for us, I believe. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Off you go, then. Okay. Um. Sorry about my voice. <laughs> it's, um, it's allergies. Perfectly. I have allergies. It's a perfect voice for this. Okay, um, roar, roar, that beckoning roar in the distance. How, how, it's coming close in persistence. What is it? I have no idea. Is it dangerous? It's that wretched noise I feel. I have lived in Wadadli for many years. I know the dance of the coconut trees, the cry of the quarreling wind and leaves, even the soft click of a twig snapping on the animal feet. That sound, however, I've never heard nor seen. The gods are punishing us. Calm down. I knew I shouldn't have taken more than 10 maids. You're just in a daze. The end is upon us. Everyone needs to hush. Hush, my people. Do not fret, do not cry. That is no sound made from nature's spite. That is no sound from the wrath of our ancestors. Maybe the Tainos are pun punning our tap? That's unlikely since the last world left them on their backs. Look, the sea has risen. What is that? What is that floating prism? Oh, the cur curiosity is more than I can bear. Ah, Jack, don't you dare. Birds, birds, they can't be birds without land. Sand, sand, to sand. We is about to reach our fortune. We should be glad. A whistle. That's a whistle. They have spotted the land. Hey, up here. Give me a hand. Well, boys, 
We've made it to the promised Neverland. If only my mother could see now. I will find gold and spices. She would be so proud. Halt! I can see strange figures standing on the shore. What are they? They could be an inhabitants or new species. I'm not quite sure. If they're inhabitants, then we force them to give us gold. If they're species, species, we'll round some up and take them back home. We are blessed with this world from God. Thank our Father, Father, I'm oh, sorry, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Ha ha! Crunch, crunch, polished boots. Meet what that leaves, well as we stand. Crunch, crunch, it is greeted by a barefooted man. Skin as pale as the sand on all beaches. Skin looks as dirty as spoiled peaches. Two men who both bleed and breed, breed. One was raised on concrete, one within the trees. That shiny armor could blind an eye. <clears throat> the nudity is no holy sight. Long straight here as golden as the sun, coarse black hair similar to my hound. Who is lesser? Who is greater? Were they made by the same creator? Such God-forsaken creatures. They have come to lead us. Life and death does not discriminate. The only real difference, difference is that their worlds were separate. We can use them to provide us with gold and labor. Give them with your most valuables, for they are our saviors. Two worlds collided and history changed. The life of all Europeans and Kalinagos would never be the same. That was beautifully, beautifully read, Dakaya. Thank you. Really I beautifully have, read. I have a call, so I kind of made some mistakes. It doesn't matter. It always happens. Never, never stop reading. When you make a mistake, just try and keep going. But you, you, I loved it. I love the way you said crunch, crunch. And, and I love there's, there's a line in there I particularly love where it says the cry of the quarreling wind and tr leaves. That's a great way to describe the winds and the leaves going. A beautiful Thank poem, you. a beautiful poem. So I, I, you're interested in history, obviously, as one can tell from the passion in that poem. Are, are you, um, would you like to be a writer, do you think? Yes, actually, um, I love, I really love to write and draw. Yeah. So I feel like I wanted to go more in the illustration so I can tell my stories through the art. Yeah. Yeah. So are there any other um, poetry or writing competitions around that you can enter? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm really, I... I'm not new to all the comp. I'm well. I'm actually new. I'm new to all, um, all the competition things, and it's usually my teachers that send us the types of competitions and so on. So I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you certainly ha uh, you really have a talent for poetry, and there's some beautiful, beautiful um, rhymes and and rhythm in that. That's absolutely lovely. I, I'm a bit of a poetry fan as well. Um, I, I'm not very good at writing it, but I love reading poetry. So um, I particularly enjoyed reading yours. But it, it's Thank you. some real, just some real things. Have you? Do you know the word? Um, it's a horrible word. Onomatopoeia. Have you heard the word onomatopoeia? Yes, I have. And it's all about when a word sounds like what it is. And you've got a lot of that in here. You've got things. You've got um, a chap. Don't you dare and crunch crunch and it, and it really makes things poems brings poems to life and yeah. especially when you read it as, as beautifully as you did i mean you really got the um the, the sounds in there so thank you so much for that that was absolutely lovely and what about you when are you back at school yet are you doing you know is it too early to do your xc x exams cxc exams um i'm not doing cxc this year i'm in fort form yeah oh thank goodness for that so <laughs> so you've got a, an extra long holiday then kind of kind <laughs> of <laughs> what would you like to do with your holiday mostly improve on my drawing skills you like drawing as well you said yeah. you like drawing the pictures well i i do a little bit of drawing and um as a zdk prize to you for this i'm going to draw you a picture from your poem um, it probably won't be as good as yours. I'm not a brilliant artist, but uh, I'm going to draw you. A p I will send it to you when I finish it. It'll take a while. Thank a picture you. from your poem. And that'll be our ZDK prize to you for beautiful poem and many, many congratulations. And of course, I, I don't think we, we gave the title of the poem. It, of course, it was called Two Worlds Collide. 
Two Worlds Collide. Great title and um, great poem. Dikaya, thank you so very, very much for joining me this morning. Congratulations.